Hi everyone, today I want to show you guys a laptop with quite surprising hardware. The processor is not Intel and it features a non-NVIDIA desktop class GPU. So what is it? This is the Asus X550iU. From the outside, it is shaped just like the previous X550 series. One that's changed is the top glossy top cover, which now features ROG-inspired decoration. Unfortunately, those cool patterns does not protect from sticking fingerprints. The pattern extends till the inside of this laptop. One thing I like is the dedicated power button separated from the keyboard. As a machine entirely covered in plastic, X550iU is quite lightweight and portable. Now, don't be surprised to see they are definitely cheaping out on the display. Full HD sounds promising, but with some weak color accuracy and limited viewing angles. There are lots of laptops in the category with superior displays. Fortunately, it is constructed quite solid. On the right, we can find a USB 2.0 port, a DVD drive, and a charging port. On the left, there's a lock, exhaust port, VGA and HDMI ports, Ethernet and USB 3.0 ports, plus an audio jack. This laptop also features an SD card slot at the front. Asus X550iU comes with AMD FX Bristol Ridge APU, which we saw on some other laptops. The thing you currently can find in any other laptop when this video was made is the Radeon RX 460 desktop GPU. Yep, that's right, the graphics performance is awesome, even slightly higher than a GTX 960M previously embedded in laptops, costing a few hundred dollars more. Now let's check out the 3 d Mark scores. As we can see here, the graphics and CPU scores are kinda imbalanced, where the physics score is really modest compared to let's say Core i5 and Core i7 laptops. Now speaking about TimeSpy and DX12, there unfortunately happens to be still a GPU misdetection. Additionally, we've tested Rise of the Tomb Raider and The Witcher 3. According to Jagatreview.com, the difference in performance compared to the PC version is about 10%, since the TDP has to be readjusted a little bit so the temperature does not exceed 75 degrees centigrade. So I think this is a pretty ideal machine for gaming as long it's not CPU intensive. On the bottom side, it is easy to crack the cover open, revealing a dual-channel DDR4 upgrade slot and a terabyte hard drive. Very unfortunately, you can find an M.2 SSD slot, so the only upgrade option is replacing the hard drive with a SATA SSD. I honestly don't expect a lot from the quality of the keyboard and touchpad. And it's true, both components are simply very basic. The speakers are pretty usable, at least good for killing time watching movies and listening to music. Lastly, the X550 doesn't last very long on battery. So, it appears to be that this laptop is AMD's answer towards similarly priced laptops armed with GTX 940MX, 950M, and 960M, or even offering more cost-saving options than the GTX 1050. Despite this RX 460 on a laptop thing is very promising, I think it's better to wait on the next generation 40 nanometer APUs from AMD to gain a more balanced mix between the CPU and GPU performance. So that's just our comment on the Asus X550iU. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like it. And as always, have a nice day.